All right, I'm back. Video number two. Next, this is due today. For which substance is solubility least affected by changes of temperature? That would be NaCl because that one's very flat. You know what? Let me do this. Um, yeah, you can't really see it. Um, which so okay, so NaCl is least affected by temperature. Which substance shows a decrease in solubility with increasing temp? So which one does not dissolve as well as temperature increases would be Na2SO4 because as that line, uh, you see the line decreasing as temperature increases. So Na2SO4 um, at higher temperatures, you cannot dissolve as much of it as you can at lower temperatures. Uh, which substance is solubility most affected by temp? The one that changes the most dramatically, KNO3. KNO3 at zero, you can dissolve 18 grams. And then at 80 degrees, you can dissolve uh, over 140. So the same amount of water, 100 milliliters, that's a tiny amount of water. You can add a ton of KNO3 at 70 degrees compared to, to zero. Um, what is the concentration of KBR at 50? 50 KBR, uh, pretty close to 80, let's see, a little less than 80, maybe 78, 79 grams, 79, 78 grams of KBR per 100 milliliters of water. So concentration, that word basically means, and that's where we're headed here in this unit, is um, how much solute per solvent. So it's an amount. So what we just did there, concentration of KBR at 50, we would write um, 78 grams per 100 milliliters of H2O. 78 grams of KNO3. That's a concentration and you could divide that and get a number. But So that's that. Uh, what temperature does the solubility of KNO be, KNO3 begin to exceed that of NaNO3? Uh, begins to exceed NaNO3 around, I don't know, 72 degrees Celsius is where it starts to pass it, 72. What type of solution will be formed if 100 grams of KBR dissolved in 200 grams of water at 40? So if we're at... Uh, 100 grams at 40, right? So this is 100 grams, right? Can you see that question there? Yeah, 100 grams. So if we go to 40 degrees up to KBR, and that looks like it's pretty close to 80, but a little less, right? So let's say at 40, we can dissolve 78 grams. So 78 grams at 40 degrees in, 200, in 100. So if we double the 100 to 200, then we'd have to double the 78. 78 plus 78 is, what's that, 156. So 156, um, what type of solution would be formed? If I, so it'd be super saturated, right? So if 156 is the max, right? Because at 40, it's saturated at 78 grams. So 78 grams, let me, let me say that, let me write this down. All right, so if we had 78, gra 78 grams of KBR uh, in 100 milliliters, if we double that, that's 156 grams of KBR in 200 milliliters. So that's this question here. So we double the 100 to 200. A saturated solution is right here. That's saturated. Anything above that would be super saturated. So that's this one. 160 is above that. That's super saturated. How many grams of KBR will dissolve in the solution from question six? There we go. 156 grams will dissolve. Four grams would precipitate. Because you're adding 160 based on the numbers, you can only have 156 dissolved. 